With this video, we start the study of rigid body planar kinematics. By kinematics, if you recall, we mean that for now, we only focus on the geometric aspects of motion. Rigid body motion by nature is more complicated than particle motion because it involves not only translation, but rotation as well. For now, we only focus on planar motion instead of three-dimensional motion, which means that during motion, the path of any given particle in this rigid body is limited in a plane, and these planes are parallel to each other. And also, each plane is always parallel to a fixed plane, and it remains at the same distance to this fixed plane. There are three types of rigid body planar motion. Translation, rotation about a fixed axis, and lastly, the general plane motion, which is simply when the rigid body is undergoing both translation and rotation simultaneously. During translation, the path could be a straight line, which is called rectilinear translation, or the path could be a curve, and this is known as curvilinear translation. Either way, during translation, for any two points on this rigid body, their paths are identical. Now let's analyze translation using relative motion. Let's say there are two arbitrary points on this rigid body, point A and point B. Initially, there is a fixed XYZ coordinate system with the origin at point A. Then, we define another X prime, Y prime, Z prime rectangular coordinate system that will always have the origin at point A and will translate with point A. Therefore, at any given time during motion, Vector Ra represents the absolute position of point A measured from a fixed origin. Rb represents the absolute position of point B. And Rba represents the relative position of point B relative to point A. And we already learned that this relative position equals to Rb minus Ra. During translation, this relative position vector remains the same. Its time derivative is zero, which means that the position of point B is always the same relative to point A. And the relative velocity of point B is also zero. The relative acceleration of point B is also zero. This means that for any two arbitrary points on the rigid body undergoing translation, the two points will always have the same velocity and acceleration. You can also say that during translation, all the particles in the rigid body will always move at the same velocity, same acceleration at all times. 